So this video is a little tutorial or a little uh, tour of how I record my YouTube videos. You can, uh, if you're starting a YouTube channel or just recording videos just for fun, you can copy exactly what I do, or you can just take a few tips or tricks. This does have lots of, uh, I've run into many, many technical difficulties trying to make videos, and this shows how I've fixed most of the technical difficulties with the software that I use right now. I'm very sorry, this video, I don't want to make it it's terribly long, so it is um, a pretty quick and speedy video it will go by pretty fast and i'll be talking really fast but you can always pause it anyway let's get into the video hey this is game one 2000 and welcome back to another video uh today i'm not doing my usual minecraft let's play i'm actually doing something completely different uh it's more of a searchable video you know helping some people out who might be starting a channel might be trying to record my, i'm not saying my channel is super great but you know i i can record videos um but anyway so basically, I'm going to be sharing everything that I do to record my videos and some problems that I've encountered along the way and how I fix them. So let's start just minimizing all this stuff right here. So uh, on the home screen, I downloaded it, Streamlabs OBS. That is what I use to record. There's a link to that in the description. So what you got to do when you have this, depending on, uh, I believe it's if you have a laptop or whatever, then sometimes you'll have to right click it. Uh, do run with graphics processor and integrator graphics you click that and it opens it up and that makes it so that uh, you can see your screen but before you see your screen uh, though there should be nothing right here um, and so you're gonna do this plus sign right here and you're gonna do the display capture um, display capture you're gonna add source all that stuff it should be pretty simple I guess you can also do game capture but I haven't really figured out how that works. I guess it would only capture the game that you're playing instead of your whole entire screen with all these things down here and everything. But I usually just play Minecraft uh, in full screen. That way it takes up my whole screen anyway. So I just have to do the display capture. And also, uh, so that is what I use to record the screen. But I need audio as well, right? So what I use for audio, I have a, what is it? Toner Q9 something like that some sort of microphone. I got it off of Amazon $50 um, It's what you're hearing right now. It's it's pretty okay, but Anyway, I, I expected it to be better But anyway, so yeah, what I use is I use that microphone and I also use this this is voice meter uh, Link to this in the description as well. And no, please don't bring that up this is voice meter. It basically enhances my voice and I can use it and I can actually change how my voice sounds as you can hear right now. This right here, you can hear the fan on my computer a lot more. Or at least you should be able to. I usually keep it down here at the low end. Um, this can control and uh, careful headphone users right now. This can control how loud it gets and how quiet it gets uh, with this thing right here. And I know you might not heard that, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, this right here, this is the hardware input. So for this, I put, just click here, I said the MME Microphone 2 Q91, because that, is, I'm not sure what all this stuff is, WDM, MME, I've, I've been looks good, and it, well, you know, it does. This right here, I guess, is a secondary audio device, so if you had some sort of, like, I suppose, what, electric keyboard or something like that, I don't know, uh, you could put it here. Um, this, I'm also not sure what it is, some virtual input, which I guess would be some sort of audio, some sort of virtual audio in here, but what I do, I'm just recording my voice, so I just need this one. This is the microphone, I hook up my microphone as the, the input for this. It can see me talking right here. I can control how loud it is. I usually like to keep mine right here. It does make my videos a bit quiet, but it also makes it so the fan can't be heard like an absolute ton. Um, but anyway, and this over here is your would be the output. So this is where you're hearing it from. Uh, so I put it as the enemy speakers three real uh, whatever. Um, that way I can hear it from my headphones. Now, this is one thing that you have to have to know uh, when you're using voice meter. This, this A, A button, button right, right here. here. Now, now, okay, I'm, I'm going to take, take off my headphones. 
because, because when, when you push, push the A button right, right there, when it's on screen, screen you, you will hear an echo of your voice. So you want that at first, you want it on, so you can move these things around, you can uh, test things to try and see how good your voice sounds, um, so you want to be able to hear your voice. When you're actually recording, yeah, you have to turn that thing off, because having your voice play in the background while you're recording is very, very annoying. So yeah, you definitely don't want to do that. Now, what I used to do, I just, fin I just fixed this. So... Even in my previous video, before this video, uh, I basically, what I was doing, I couldn't hear the game audio because this thing, I had the, the echo, echo turned on, and, on, and I, I didn't know, know how to turn it off, off and, and so, so I couldn't, I just, I just took, took off my headphones, headphones which means I couldn't, I couldn't hear the game, game audio either. either. Um, but anyway, yeah, so you want the echo off, but then that makes it so that I can't hear this. Now this over here is the sound for uh, Streamlabs OBS. This is where the display is, um, and this is where the sound is. So this is showing what you're hearing, uh, or what I'm hearing on my headphones. So I can't hear anything on my headphones. If I put on my headphones, I can't hear anything. Um, of course, if I did, nope, here, let's go back to Streamlabs. If I did turn, turn the, the echo, echo on, on, it would show, show that I'm hearing, hearing the, the echo. echo. Um, um, and, and also, this thing right here, this is the voice meter input, which is where I have voice meter. Uh, which makes my voice sound better as the input uh, audio for my recording and that only works when, when you have, have this on. on. When you have this on, on you, you can, can hear it right, right there. there. You, you can, can see, see it's working. working. When you have it off, suddenly it stops working. So what I use is the audio input capture. So I did uh, I did plus, I did was audio, yes, audio input capture. I click that, I click to do voice meter, um, I'm pretty sure. And anyway, and so then I got this right here, which works um, with this thing off, but I'm pretty sure it still uses voice meter. So if I turn voice meter off, so as you could see there, I turned voice meter off um, and it stopped hearing audio. So it is hooked up vo to voice meter, so it, it should be making my audio sound better, um, but it also works when the echo is turned off voice meter which is great. So I have the display capture. That is what I use to capture the screen. And I have this sound thing right here. And you just hit record, which is right here, and it will start recording. Um, and then I just go into Minecraft. Uh, you, play, you have to play full screen on if you're doing the display capture. There's also the option of game capture, which is right here, um, which I guess would just capture the game. I'm not exactly sure how to do that, so I just use the display capture. I uh, it's better to play Minecraft on full screen, anyways. So yeah, that's easiest for me. So I record the video, um, and once I'm done, I hit the record button to stop recording, and then I go into the files right here, and I go into captures. My captures file. This is a big old. Uh, I'm so sorry for this pun. I literally did not mean it mumbo jumbo mess uh but anyway yeah this is a big old mess here a bunch of clips and stuff everywhere just kind of i mean it doesn't i don't really use this file a ton this is where so i have the captures here then i open up this go to voice editor no not voice editor uh video editor is what it should be called and what i do is i would start a new video project this is to edit the video once i've already recorded it now I want to edit it. Um, I'm just gonna name it. I don't know, just a bunch of random stuff. So you name the video whatever you want. Then I would go here, add from this PC. Obviously, I go yep in captures, add the video, and uh, we have to wait for a little bit here as it's adding the files. And once it adds the files, what I would do is I bring it down here. I click trim, uh, and I trim so that's only the parts that I want. It's only like the beginning scene or whatever. Um, just like that. Because this scene, I'm talking to the camera. And right here, I'm not. And right here, I'm not. So that would be done right there. Then I grab the clip from here again. I click trim. And then I bring it over here to where the next scene starts. Um, and trim it just like this until I've trimmed the whole entire thing. That is how you would edit the video um, and why did I close it that's very inconvenient but so yeah basically I grab the clip I put it down 
uh, a bunch of different times and I trim it all down into its little itty bitty pieces. It can take a very long time and once I'm done I hit finish video uh, and yeah hit finish video and it saves to my file that I have which is should be in quick access this computer isn't quite like my old computer uh, final videos this is where it saves to uh, this is my final videos file uh, so it was saved to here after I've fully edited it you can also in video editor I know it's the it's the free video editing app that comes with Windows but it works for me so far it's done basically everything that I needed to do so I haven't really had a need to get some fancy editing app but you know if you want to get a fancy editing app go for it there's filters uh, you can change the speed that's how I do my time lapses time lapses I don't know uh, effects motion I, I often use this thing text right here so I can add text I usually like to use classic and I just say hi uh, no okay I'm just gonna say hi I just say hi right there and at this little uh, wherever I put it right there uh, if I just play it right there all throughout here oh, I'm just going to, to say do. hi just like that so yeah that's how you do that so now we know you Streamlabs OBS and you have to open it by right clicking and doing the integrated graphics thing I use display capture to capture the screen I use the audio input capture uh, set with voice meter to make my voice sound better uh, to record the audio so now it's the screen and the audio uh, I use Minecraft to well you know entertain that's the whole video and then when I'm done recording at all the, uh, I re usually record a big long clip um, and then I hit stop recording open it up in video editor place it down a bunch of times and trim it into its itty bitty little trimmed pieces and that is how I make a video and this video is actually not terribly long it's only about 12 minutes long that was a lot of me ranting it was also pretty quick uh, but though that is how I record videos that is how I do it if you have any questions be sure to put them in the comment section below and if you did search this video uh, before you go click off the video I'm not quite done yet because I want to tell you that I do I play Minecraft uh, videos I do Minecraft let's plays and survival series is I think they're pretty fun they're pretty fun for me to do and I really hope they're they'd be fun for you to watch so please consider just go check out some of my videos if you like them then you know maybe you can subscribe maybe you won't that depends on what you're feeling but anyway thank you so much for watching I really really appreciate you watching uh, and hopefully I will see you in the next video so see you then and end.